as we celebrate the Feast of Theophany, we're remembering Christ's baptism. We recall our own baptism and also the revelation of the Holy Trinity. We sing, as many who have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Water alone washes the skin, washes away dirt. But water alone cannot wash us of sin, cannot wash us of evil. And so Christ submits himself, he is baptized, he enters into the water, and the grace of the Holy Spirit dwells in the water, so that we who are baptized put on Christ. We are clothed in Christ. The grace of the Holy Spirit enters our hearts. But it is the beginning of a process. We, of course, all sin. We continue to sin after our baptism. And so God gives us repentance. He gives us confession to bring us back to this state. The state we wear white at our baptism to symbolize that we are illuminated, made clean, made new in God through our baptism. And confession and repentance brings us back to this state because God's forgiveness and mercy restores us again and again. But confession is really as St. Gregory Palamas says, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the Christian life. It is the beginning because it is through repentance that we first come to seek baptism itself. We go on and on, repenting all of our lives until the very end of our lives. Repentance is at the heart of the Christian life. But today, in Theophany, we also remember the revelation of the Holy Trinity the voice of the Father, the Holy Spirit descending like a dove on the Son. Once more, we see the Holy Trinity revealed just as at the beginning of creation when man was first created. So now God reveals himself in Holy Trinity. We're reminded that man alone is created in the image of the Holy Trinity. Not the animals, not the angels in heaven, but man alone is created in the image of the Holy Trinity. Such a high, noble calling. And this image is restored in us through baptism. At Christ's baptism, he was immersed only once. He went down into the water, and the Gospel tells us immediately came out the Holy Spirit descended like a dove, and then he was led into the wilderness. Immediately after he came out of the water, he wasn't immersed a second and third time. John the Baptist baptized in repentance, a single immersion. But we are baptized three times. Yes, in the name of the Holy Trinity, but also to remind us of the three days of burial that Christ endured. We go down under the water as a sign that we are buried with Christ, but we lift ourselves out of the water to resurrection. We are resurrected three times because, as the fathers say, every part of us, mind, body, and spirit, is resurrected. And as Christ came out of the water, we read that the heavens opened above him. Through his baptism, Christ opens the heavens for us. Not just the heaven, the sky, the heavens. To the very heart of God, to the very bosom of God. Through his baptism, Christ enables us to enter again through the heavens that were closed through our sin, close to us. It is baptism, our baptism, which is the gateway, the gateway to the bosom of the Father, the gateway through the heavens. We step through this gateway, yes, through immersion, through chrismation, but then we begin this life of repentance, this life of struggle. Though the gate may open to us, it is up to us to walk through the gate, to take the path, the path that leads to paradise, to the bosom of the Father. We're reminded, of course, that Saint Stephen, the first martyr, proto-martyr, Saint Stephen, as they killed him, he looked and saw the heavens open. And of course, tradition tells us not only was the first martyr, the first Christian martyr, but also he was the first deacon to enter heaven. 
His service before God is treasured, we're told, even greater than that of the, the serving spirits and angels. But we see here this link between martyrdom and baptism, the death of the old self, the rising to new life, the illuminated new life restored in the image of the Holy Trinity. So let all of us who are baptized in the Orthodox Church hold on hold on to this precious gift that Christ has given us, clothed us in himself, given us his grace, the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. And let us walk through this gate to return to paradise. <laughs>